Thunder Bay police have now made a second arrest in connection with that dramatic shootout in Westfort on Tuesday. 36-year-old Desiree Barber is facing one count of attempted murder using a firearm. Two other suspects are still at large. And officials with the city and the DSAB are now weighing in on the shocking incident, which occurred at a social housing facility. Jonathan Wilson has the story. Well, it's horrific, and uh, it, it's, it's not tolerable, and uh, I appreciate the police response, and uh, we as a community have to really rally together to understand just how serious this is. This is an escalation uh, that's got to be stopped in its tracks. Quite upset about uh, criminal activity like that happening at one of our properties. DSAB Administrator Bill Bradica says although the shootout occurred on one of their properties, he insists this is a criminal matter which city police are dealing with. 20-year-old Iverson Thomas from Toronto was arrested the day it occurred, and 36-year-old Desiree Barber of Thunder Bay is now in custody for attempted murder as well. Two other suspects remain at large, and police have released surveillance images of them taken from cameras inside Spence Court. The DSAB has faced criticism in recent years for the drug activity happening inside that building. Many people think that there's, there are things that we can do to prevent something like that, that ha from happening, but th this is a Residential Tenancies Act uh, covered building. People have leases. It is their home. Um, they can have guests in their units. We cannot prevent people from uh, inviting people into their units. City police and other local officials have been calling on the federal and provincial governments to provide more funding to battle guns and gangs in Thunder Bay. MPP Kevin Holland says he wants to sit down with new police chief Darcy Fleury to discuss the issue so his government could put an effective plan in place for Thunder Bay. I've had opportunity to have many conversations with the, the acting chief, uh, Dan Taddeo, and I'm very much looking forward to, to sitting down with the new, new police chief and assess the situation in Thunder Bay. And our government will continue to provide whatever supports we can as they deem necessary. Well, you couldn't have more evidence uh, of gun, guns and gangs in peaceful neighborhoods and the need for more funding. It will give us uh, literally uh, the backup to, to ensure that uh, our case is heard and addressed, and I'm sure it will be. Jonathan Wilson, TBT News.